Hello there friends, I'm LD Gambit and welcome to the Mix It Up Masterclass where I'm going to be showing you exactly how Mix It Up works, some of the really cool stuff that you can do and giving you practical examples that you can apply into your own streams. Now if you haven't seen my face before, I'm Gambit, I'm a Mix It Up ambassador who creates a variety of streaming related content across various platforms and also streams on Twitch four times a week. And before we get into the video, just a quick reminder to make sure that you hit like and subscribe. That way you always know when I upload a new video. Lesson number two, setting up basic commands for your Twitch chat. So commands are one of, if not the most important part of any streamer bot. And they're a really good way to encourage community interaction, to promote your other content and to add depth to your stream. Now, if you're not sure what a command is, it's essentially like a trigger and response. And there's a specific word or phrase that you set up. And when that word or phrase is used, it triggers a response from mix it up. Now in this video, I'm gonna be making three basic commands that every streamer has to have in their chats. There's a Discord command, a hype command, and a raid command. Let's get started, shall we? So we're gonna start with the Discord command. And this one is pretty self-explanatory and its function is to send people from your stream into your Discord so they can join your community. So first though, is to open the menu from the left once we're logged in and find the command section and then look all the way at the bottom for the option that says new command. Now, whatever you do, don't panic. I know that new window looks a little bit scary, but I promise you it's not, and we're gonna walk through it step by step. So the very first part of making a brand new command is to give it a name. And this isn't gonna be the trigger that someone uses in your Twitch chat, it's what you're gonna call it personally. So in this case, we're gonna call it Discord command. Now, just underneath, we have to set the trigger word, and that's the word that's going to trigger a response in your Twitch chat. In this case, it's gonna be just the word Discord, and we have to make sure that the toggle here for, for the estimation mark is also turned on. So our next step is to actually build what the response looks like. And we do that by opening the action tab at the very bottom. And we're gonna find the module that says chat message and we're gonna add it in with the plus. Now from this point, we can type out what the message actually looks like. And mine here is really simple and just says, hey, join the Discord and it has a link to a Discord on the end of the message. Now once you've done that, you're gonna come down to the bottom and then press save. And there you go. One down, two to go. Next one up is a hype command, and the function of this is to celebrate something exciting that happens in your chat. Maybe there's a new follower, a new subscriber, or you're sharing some exciting news. So exactly as we did last time, we'll open the menu from the left and find the command section, and then look all the way down to the bottom and press new command. So from here, we have to make sure that we have a name for the command, we have a trigger set up, and we've added a chat message module from the action tab at the bottom ready to type in our message. So this can look however that you want it to, but my really simple example here is heart emojis that I've copied and pasted in between the word hype, but whatever yours is, when you're done, you can then press save and there you go. One more to go. So our final command is a special one and it's a raid command and the function of it is to send a special message when someone gives you a raid. And we're also gonna make it so only you and your mods are able to trigger it. So once you've built your command using the exact same steps as the previous two, to make it so only you and your mods are able to access this, we have to look to the very top right and select the person icon. Go across to advanced and make sure that both streamer and moderator is selected from the drop down menu right here. Now once you've done that and you're ready to go, you're gonna press save. And there you go. You've done it. You've just set up a bunch of basic commands using Mix It Up and learned a little bit about roles and permissions. Now, if you found this video helpful, give it a like. If you want to see some more, hit subscribe. If you want to see my other content, there's a link in the description down below. And if you want to come and hang out with us live on Twitch, you can do so at twitch.tv slash ldgambit. Thank you for hanging out. I really hope you found this helpful. Now, if you found this video first, but you still need to set up your overlay within Mix It Up to do some really, really fun stuff, then press this video here.